you told me you just introduced your daughter to Olivia Rodrigo, who's here tonight. How did that go? Olivia Rodrigo is so cool to my to my daughter. I can't even tell you. I took a picture with her, and uh, it was a special moment because you know her music means an awful lot to a lot of people. My daughter and her friend Jordan included. And so right now, they're over there. From a distance, you would think something was very wrong because it's a lot of tears. But as you get closer, you realize they are tears of joy. She has an amazing song in this movie. For you, what made you want to join this film and take on this role and become part of this universe? Well, I love the movies, but I, I love the story. I love, I love everything about it, but I really, I wanted to work with Francis Lawrence. And, and I wanted to work in this way which was that he basically had this idea that for my character, you know, he said, why, why don't we just work up a bunch of material and you'll have freedom to come up with it and then each day we'll kind of figure, we'll pick and choose what, we, what works. And so Michael Leslie, the writer, and I, we got to sit down for like a month and we wrote pages and pages of material. And it was so silly and so... We were punch drunk, was just like so tired, just generating all these. But it was so fun to do it and then present it to Francis. I've never worked in that way before. And then because he, he knows it's, you know, he knows this world so, this is his world. Just to, he would look at the things and see, he'd pick and choose what he needed. And it was just so cool to watch him do that because it's like, yes, of course, of course that's the, that's the right thing to choose. And of course that's the, he just, you know, it's just neat to present something to someone and then that you watch them make all the other movies and present something that you've made someone and have him kind of pick all the thing. It was just, it was such a, it was, a, it was amazing. What's one line or scene you're especially excited for fans to see in this movie that you came up with? Oh, geez. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm so nervous. This is my first time. Who knows? I mean, I don't know. I said a lot of really silly stuff. I love I hope it's not too offensive. I love your performance in this movie, and as a fan of the original movies, it's so wild to see just how much your character even looks like Stanley Tucci. For you, what did that kind of fan response mean when people were like, oh wow, you really look like you could be part of the Flickerman family? Oh, great. Well, that's good for me, because I love Stanley Tucci. And when I, when I saw the first one, I thought to myself, Stanley Tucci in this movie is a godsend, and I want to be in a part like this. I literally was just like the biggest fan of it and I held it and, and my mind is like that's the epitome of like just a great performance and a great world and a great mo to be able to now be a ancestor it's pretty heavy have you spoken to him at all never I'm, but I love here's how much I love him he made a movie called the big night I don't know if you know this movie he wrote and directed this movie with um, maybe Campbell Scott anyway this movie, it's an incredible movie, and it centers around an Italian family cooking this one big last meal for this person. This meal in this movie, I love so much. It, we m modeled our wedding meal off of, this, off of his movie, um, The Big Night. It feels... That cookbook. It feels meant to be that you played this part. I'm not saying it... I could have... Maybe I willed it. Manifested it? I could have. It could have been like, a, you know... A lot of algorithms going off. He bought the Big Night Cookbook. Da da da. You know these things happen. But it was, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Of course, the strike is now out, now over. How does that feel? Good. Um, I'm just happy for for everybody uh, to be able to get back to work because you know it's been a long time. There's a lot of great people who need to work. So. What's your schedule looking like going forward now that you can get back to work? Um, I don't know yet. Just a couple things, but, you know. Anything you can tease or not yet? I can't, I can't, but I'm, I am excited about one thing. But I can't, sorry.